ChatGPT recently dropped a new update, 5.2, and along with it, their latest update for AI image generation, GPT 1.5. Some say it's the new Nano Banana Pro, or maybe even better. Well, if only there was a tool that we could easily compare the both of these at the same time. Well, luckily there is. Yay! And it's quickly becoming one of my favorite go-to all-in-one tools. Today, we'll be using Chat LLM by Abacus AI. Chat with the best LLMs, generate AI images with the best tools and even create AI video. I just found out I was made with a prompt. When it's all under one roof, it just makes things so much easier. But today, luckily, we have this tool in Chat LLM to easily compare the both of these and it's never been easier because we have the all-in-one platform. Now to start, let's quickly see how good GPT 1.5 is, the new AI image update, with generating just some basic prompts. Now when it comes to testing all of this out, over here in Chat LLM, LLM, look at the very top, okay, where it says GPT 5.2. If I select this down arrow, check out all of these incredible LLMs that we have at our fingertips, including the ability to generate images with some of the best AI image tools. If I select image below the prompt box over here, this side column is gonna populate. Then in here, I can choose my specific model and the list again, it just goes on. I can do the same thing by selecting more and then select video gen. This box populates again, and now look at this. Look at all of these amazing AI video models I get to generate AI video. So again, like I said, I first want to test out a couple of basic prompts. We can have these running in the background, and then we'll go with the prompt generator. It is a universal high-end image generation system, JSON plus ideas. So let me come over here into my prompt portal database. Now I am in specifically the nano banana column right here, or the tab right up here at the top. Now the first one will be this image right here. Now this was using a reference image of my AI influencer. If I just do a generic one, same exact prompt, but this is what I get right here. So let's try this one right here. We'll also select another non-JSON one. Now we're going to start with non-JSON ones, and then we're going to increase the difficulty time and time again. The other one I want to test out is going to be this one right here. Again, this is what we got in Nano Banana. We'll see how good GPT 1.5 does in creating something similar. I should have won. All of these prompts I'm demoing today, in addition to the prompt generator I'm about to give you, they're all available 100% free via the links in the description. Okay, so for the quick test, let's go ahead and select image over here back in chat LLM. We're gonna make sure we have GPT image 1.5 selected. Here is the first prompt. Now we have the number of images. We can select anywhere between one and four. Let's go with two. And then we have images to edit. Upload up to five images to edit. Quality, we have auto low, medium, and high. Let's just go with high and go all out. And then we're gonna have the specific size. We're gonna make this one more of a wide angle. Let's go ahead and generate the image here. While the chat GPT one, you could see over here on your screen, while this one is processing, I can jump back over into a new chat and try that same exact prompt out using Nano Banana Pro. And this is the way that we can generate these images at the same time and get a great looking comparison. Okay, here we go. Now back in my other chat here are the newest additions the newest images from gpt 1.5 Look how great these look. That's the first one we got. Very good job with GPT 1.5. Okay, so the first two nano banana ones are done. Again, same exact style. And now here we go right here. There is the first one and here is the second one. However, I probably did do it a disservice because I didn't select a wider aspect ratio like I did the first time. But nonetheless, the quality is still there. Now, if I come back over here into chat LLM with the new GPT 1.5 images, this is the prompt we just pasted for Nano Banana Pro. And here's what we got in GPT 1.5. That's pretty good. This one, pretty good as well. We'll see what Nano Banana Pro gives us. Okay, so we're gonna have a few more to be generated. Oh, but check this out. Now, here are the ones in Nano Banana Pro. Now, again, with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and say Nano Banana Pro won this one because it is higher fidelity, crisp, and much more clear, a lot more accurate. Now let's really put things to the test and generate a somewhat difficult one with high levels of text. I love the way that these turned out in Nano Banana Pro, so GPT 1.5 is gonna have a tough competition. Back into chat LLM, we're gonna go ahead and select image and now paste this full prompt 
the one I just showed you. Now, it should be a Netflix-style dashboard of just some random movies with the text spelt hopefully accurately. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn things up a notch. Now, let's see how good of a job GPT 1.5 can do with a JSON prompt. Now, for the first one, we're going to go with this image right here. This sort of image you've probably seen. It's been going pretty viral. We'll try this one. Now, these were made in Nano Banana Pro. These are so good, guys. And then I also want to try this selfie style one of this woman eating a pizza. These in Nano Banana also turned out pretty good. Come back over here into this chat. Now, my Netflix one is done. We'll take a look at that in a second. Going forward, I'll turn off the modify input. Aspect ratio, let's keep these wide angle and now generate these, okay? That long JSON prompt one. But while we wait, let's look at these Nano Banana ones right here for the Netflix dashboard style and make sure the text is all spelled accurately. Now, I do see about two errors in the text, maybe three, a little bit blurry on that one, but for the most part, pretty good so far. This one looks much better. Again, pretty accurate with the text spelling and all gonna be crisp and clear. And now back in chat LLM with the GPT version, Okay, look at this right here. Wow, this is very impressive. Now, I think I will definitely give this round to GPT. There is Nano Banana Pro, okay? Now, the thing I don't like about this is that we get three of the same exact ones for the last detective. In fact, Wild Earth, all of these are the exact same. This one's a little bit better, but again, we could see a lot of duplicates and even some text misspelling or blurriness right here. Back into GPT, however, these are all real shows or movies. Even we have Succession spelled accurately, The Mandalorian, Ted Lasso, Friends, although those are completely different people. Nonetheless, Pretty impressive with this first image. Let's go to the second one. Even look at this foundation, that D in the word foundation, and even Squid Game. That is impressive. This round, I think at least will go to GPT. And now back over here for our pizza one. Remember the pizza Jason prompt. Here are the ones that we got in Nano Banana. Both of these look pretty impressive. Let's see what we got in chat GPT. I'll paste the full Jason prompt in. We're gonna go with two images, turn off modify. And again, let's go with the high quality and a wider angle. Okay, so our images are done. Look at the ones we got for GPT 1.5 of the woman eating a pizza also incredible. And now the quick comparison of that bathroom selfie style one. Now moving on, let's really test things out and see how well that these models can understand a prompt generator. Now for this one, we're going to head to my prompt generators database. This is nothing but prompts that create prompts. The one specifically I'm giving you today is going to be this one right here. It is a universal high end image generation system, Jason plus ideas. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing like this, go back into chat LLM and start a brand new chat. Now, what I'm going to do, let's take things up. We have thinking. Let's go with GPT 5.2 Pro. There is that full prompt generator right here. Let's see what this can come up with. Okay. Now, just like that, look at this. Now, it gives me this Jason right here. Just bypass that. What we're focused on is this right here. The question it asks us, do you already have a subject you want to shoot or do you want 10 unique and creative subject ideas. I always like to start with this, unless you have a specific subject you like. So let's go ahead and just paste this in just to see the creativity and what 5.2 Pro can actually come up with. Now, sometimes if it provides you with a response that's too long, all you have to do is say this up here at the top, provide the ideas and easy to read one through 10, because what it originally gave me was this long Jason prompt where I didn't want to have to try to filter out the ideas. So when I said that, it just gives me these simple one through 10 options to choose. So let's look at something very quickly and let's first select our first one for image generation. We'll just go with number three, okay? Hit that number three and now submit. Watch this, we're gonna get an instant JSON prompt that we can use. And look, just like that, we get this long, amazing JSON prompt. In fact, it's long, it's actually still going. Okay, it looks like it is done. Now, again, what I like to always remind you is always follow up with the answer to the question. Version B, more unique or a new subject or even 10 more ideas. Let's go ahead and copy this prompt and again, create the image very quickly. Open this up. 
paste in the prompt. We're gonna go with three images. We don't need to modify it. This is gonna be good and highest quality. Let's go ahead and generate these very quickly. So this is the sort of prompt you'll get with this prompt generator I'm giving you today. It's very powerful and it's gonna produce some amazing JSON prompts. Okay, so again, the images are done. Check these out. Okay, so speaking of real time, check out this trick. Now this is something that Gemini or Nano Banana does relatively well. When you say something that's based on real time, like a real current event, you can instantly get an exciting infographic. Something like this would take hours or maybe even weeks to do in Photoshop, but now that's no longer the case. Okay, so check this out. We're gonna switch up to GPT 5.2 thinking and watch what we're gonna put in. So for a live current event, we can just say something like, what was the Texans vs. Raiders final score? There is the final score, that is legit. Then I'll say, generate a prompt to create an AI image. A stylus graphic showing the Texans vs. Raiders final score in an exciting infographic. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up image generation again, GPT 1.5, and I'm going to go ahead and create two. Very simple right here. Now, what I'll go ahead and do is copy the whole entire thing that chat GPT just gave me, just like that. And then we'll generate a second series of images. So I'll come back over here and do this one at the same time. That way we can have two going at the same time. This one will be that longer prompt. Again, GPT image 1.5. Let's go ahead and make this high quality, which I think I forgot to make the first one high quality. So we may do it again, but nonetheless, click this off, generate these now. Then we'll see the final results. Okay, and now speaking of final results, here they are. We're gonna get these images, which all turned out amazingly well. Now, last but not least, let's really put things to the test to see what we can do with some more creativity and even editing some images. I'm gonna take this image I just took. It's actually not even that good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it right here on the right-hand side. And as far as the prompt, it's pretty simple. Turn this product into a full ad campaign mood board. Use creative angles and lighting effects. Now, while this is thinking, let's do something else very quickly. Let's take that same image and drop it right here. And now this time we're gonna say, change the red color to blue, just like that. Now, while these two are thinking, I'm gonna take another viral and trending prompt, okay? I'm gonna come in here, open up image again, GPT image five. This is a image that has been going viral as well, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one in. I'll also give you the prompt for this image as well, okay? Now, let's see if we can actually edit it because the image does say maroon and gold. Let's change up the color scheme and the uniforms to something completely different. Really put the editing to the true test, okay? GPT 1.5. Images to edit, there it is. I uploaded it and now we'll say something like this. Change the text to blue and purple and also change the girls' uniforms to reflect the same new color scheme, blue and purple. There we have it. Now, if I go back to my shoe, remember I said change the color to blue? Look at that. It did it. It did it perfectly, even on my generic, badly taken image. Now, we did that one, but we also remember we made that ad campaign mood board. Look how amazing this is. Now, remember, my original image was a bad one. As a reminder, there it is right here, okay? Just taken with my iPhone. But just like that, when I said this prompt here, a mood board, it did it, it looks great. The thing I like about this is that it even got the actual style right. And it is actually the Jordan 11s and a low top shoe. Let's download this image and put some more editing to the test. I'll drop in that new mood board image. The prompt will make simple. Again, with the same color scheme, change the mood board style and color scheme to blue, purple, and black. Change the shoes from red to blue. All right, let's see what happens. Oh wow, and now look at that. That is incredible. It did everything perfectly. So there you have it, what the new ChatGPT 5.2 can do in addition to image 1.5. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to check the links in the description to try Chat LLM yourself. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.